was. The Samsung S23 Ultra says, if you shoot for the moon, you'll get a photo which is out of this world. Personally, I'm a hardcore Apple fanboy and I'm stuck like glue to Apple's ecosystem. But at the same time, I'm a realist. So just because I use something myself, it doesn't mean it's the best. I've been playing with the S23 for a few hours now. And here's my honest, unbiased opinion, which will shock you. So let's start with the hardware. And if I'm honest, I love it. The curved edges, the solidity, the premium feel is evident right out of the box. I'm not sure if it's me and if it's because it's new to me and I'm used to the same iPhone design for what feels like a decade now. Now I know it's not a huge refresh in terms of the S series from Samsung, but to me, it's perfect. Let's talk about the display. Now the display is stunning. Colors are very vibrant, text is super crisp, a media playback, it's a dream. Now I've heard other tech reviewers say Samsung's displays are beyond the standards set by the iPhone. However, until the S23 lineup, this is the first time I've really been able to agree. The 120 Hz refresh rate is very noticeable, especially when coming from something like an iPhone 13. Now I can't quite put my fingers on what it is about it, but it just looks better than its rivals. Now it wouldn't be fair to not talk about the cameras. And right now would be the perfect time for this Apple fanboy to tear the S23 apart regarding the faked moon photos. But I'm not. I'm not going to moan, I'm not going to whinge when brands utilise next generation tech to improve our experiences. The main rival to the S23 is Apple's iPhone 14 and spec for spec the S23 blows it out of the water. But in the real world there's not too much difference, especially when you're comparing it on screens such as the devices they were taken on. If you use to zoom in, you'll start to see a lot more detail especially on the S23. That's where it's going to stand out. There's one thing though, just one thing I can't quite get my head around. That's the operating system. Now, I'm not sure if it's because I'm glued to Apple's ecosystem or just the fact that I personally prefer iOS over Android. Now, before you start getting angry and writing the comments, I'm not saying Android isn't a great OS. It's actually an incredible OS, to be honest. It's just for me and my needs, iOS seems to fit like a glove. So what are my thoughts on the S23 Ultra? I'm shocked. I thought I'd find it a little bit meh. I genuinely was worried that I would go into it with an Apple fanboy sort of rose tinted glasses on, which just meant I hated it right outside of the box. However, I actually think it's an incredible smartphone. And if I wasn't locked into the Apple ecosystem, I'd be grabbing one for myself Everything feels super snappy, sometimes as if the phone is too fast. The cameras are next level and the moonshots may be a bit of a party trick, but it gets the imagination flowing in terms of what's to come from Samsung. It's also a shame that the iPhone and the Samsung S series aren't in sync in terms of release dates, but I'll tell you what, Apple has got some work to do to catch up.